Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And here at the new house, we're traveling today. We're getting out. We're branching out finally. But we're just uh, we're just taking the morning here, doing a little tackle prep. We're going fishing today, so this is gonna be a fishing travel vlog. But it's a beautiful day here. I spent pretty much all day yesterday mowing the lawn with a push mower, and I'll probably never do that again. But the yard looks gorgeous right now, and I'm looking out in the rocking chair and I'm looking at four deer right now by the pond. And they're definitely coming to the, the corn pile over there and they're just munching. There's one that's got its ears up and is looking at me, but the, the others are just kind of heads down. So that's what I want. That's what I want to be able to see. Come out here in the morning. I don't have coffee today, unfortunately. Also, creature of concern alert. It's either an armadillo or a possum has just torn up my grass and all i'm gonna say is we can't be having that let's see if we got anything in the pond scooting around this morning i have noticed around the edges there's been some swirls sometimes when your shadow hits the water like that fish will just spook water's down a little bit just need to add add some more water in the pond oh we just had a a surfacer over there and i've been wondering like what has been going on under the water in the pond you know i have not fished it yet there's definitely bait fish in here now there's there's tons of, of bluegill we've got catfish and i want to get them on a little a little program where i can feed them you know like have a little feeder down here that shoots some feed out and the catfish come up and, and i gotta clear up this water but for now guys we are heading to central texas to do some fishing there's a squad that is forming that is mounting up right now we're gonna head down uh to fish a couple lakes this is gonna be my first time that i've gotten away from the houses just been moving for for months and, and dealing with home stuff it's my first time getting out i'm gonna go hang out with some buddies it's gonna be a good time y'all we're gonna do some dangling bass crappie Maybe some hives, whatever's coming up and eating top water. I would love this time of year. Oh my goodness. Ooh, it's time. Those what that water's in the in the 60s, low 70s. It's prime. And now we're gonna head out and meet up with the crew. So let's go. Rolling up to HQ right now with my boy. What's up, baby? We are, we're just gonna get a few things. We're just gearing up, waiting on uh, one of our, our dangle buddies to get up here. Dude, it's supposed to be a beautiful day today. Is it? Well, it's blowing 30 miles an hour. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> it's Bluebird and it's blowing okay. 30. Looking for weights in the HQ. The bugler. The bugler. He's got to come down sometime. He's, he's going to go to my house. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how that's going to work, take, but. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see how many people it takes to get that. What do we got here in these mysterious boxes, Worm? Oh, uh, that's, I, I can't even talk about that right now. That's, Secret bundlers, yeah, possibly? Yeah. You may not be able to, or supposed to see this, but you're seeing it. You I'd, li I'd like that as a wallpaper. I, well, I won't tell anybody that I showed that to you. Googleswild.com with something in it. There'll be some sort of bundling package to be had. I think I've got what I need with, uh, I was just out of simple, like shallow dock fishing stuff, shallow cover fishing stuff, three or four odd hooks, you know, some some stops, just a few weights, like quarter ounce, little three eighths ounce. That's pretty much all I need. Oh, except for, uh, all right, me and DeMarco, we're leaving, we're leaving the store only with what our hands can carry. That's the rule. Oh, there's an open box. Jerry's like, how can I fill that with tackle? I used to be my rule when I would go into tackle shops. Don't get a cart. Only, only buy what you can carry with your hands, because uh, especially when you're buying hard baits, you can get expensive. Oh my gosh, Jerry. I brought quite a bit. You of have so much. Tackle here. Oh no. Jerry, he's he's behind the scenes filming all the the juicy Guggen Squad videos and. Um, He's a serious dangler too, and he just so happened to take up my entire boat with tackle and rods. So, got some juicies on there, Jer. Yeah, 
you're, you're dialed. Got, I actually got my line through the. Uh, I got the line through the guide to my rods too. So <laughs> that's so good. We'll be ready to fish. When that's we get always there. a good step. Yeah, yeah. And Jerry has also provided us with a large amount of liquids, bubbly liquids in there, which is fun. It's fun times. I'll accept that offering. So on the road we go to meet up with John and the mighty young Grant Langmore. Currently, two trailers in the parking lot. Ours and John Bizzles, who just so happens to be coming around the corner right now. It's afternoon. We only got like two and a half hours to fish. Uh, goal is to just kind of get down here today, get the feel, get the gist, get the get the things tied on, and hopefully get the line stretched a little bit. They're rolling four deep over there in that vessel. And I think I've captured three bass. It's not good numbers. Uh, me and Jerry, we've come loaded for bear. Oh, Jerry, what are we looking at here? Hang on, we'll get back to you. We're looking at something. Oh, Let it begin. We got a real windy day out here, guys. Fall fishing, we're going after bass right now. One of the first things I, ooh, my gosh, Jerry, look at that pumpkin wad there. One of the first things I like to try is just points. Like wind is pretty important too. You want to try to go where the wind is pushing the bait fish in the fall. And we just found a first little group of bait fish out on a big main lake point. The wind sucks, but in the fall, if you're in a boat and you can access the windy banks and use the wind to your advantage, it certainly is a good thing when you can get a good school of bass grouped up with the wind. I've got a couple of shallow type runners here. I've got uh, a banger, that's a square bill. This is one of my all time favorites, probably the last decade of catching bass in the fall. That's a spoon, a slab style spoon. Flutter spoons are great as well. And jerk baits, uh, just picked up some new deeper diving jerk baits. So I might give that a try. Not necessarily using the scope to target individual fish. I'm just using it to try to find some shad and fish that might be roaming an area. There's a ball of bait right there. Water's 70 degrees, windy day. Get your shad things out. And we got other species in here. What I love about the spoon is you, it catches every, every one of them. Crappie, white bass, catfish, whatever is gonna eat a shad is cruising around the bottom. This gets it done and it's a really quick bait. That slab of lead is going so fast through the water, a fish has to make a split second decision on it. It's like throwing a square bill or, or a, uh, you know, a vibe jig or something up shallow as a reaction bait. This is a reaction bait out deep, opposed to like throwing a, a swim bait, which can be really good too, but oh, I think that's grass actually. This they gotta make a decision on. Oh, yeah, filamentous algae, that's what that is. And it's not even green, it's dead. At a big point like this, you might you might roll up there and not see a, a thing. If you see bait fish, that's good, but there might not be any predator fish. 30 minutes later, it could have a big school of fish on it just moving through. They can load up quickly. Load up and disappear quickly. Give me a crappie, something. It's, it's catfish. catfish. Yep, they're big catfish. It's either that or it's a 10 pound bass. It's large. It's 
coming up. Oh, oh it's carp. Whoa. <laughs> this thing is giant, dude. Oh my God. This is like a 16 pounder. Woo, where's that net when you need it, Jerry? <laughs> I don't have a net, dude. Me and Jerry were seeing these large signatures down around the shad ball. Could have swore they were either big catfish, large mouth. And I was working a, uh, a spoon through there and all of a sudden it just loaded up. I was like, surely that's a catfish. It's a magnum, magnum carp. I th actually, I think it's a smallmouth buffalo. And it kind of looked like he was hooked under the chin or the mouth. We'll see. He might be hooked in the side. Yeah, those this is a big. Try to eat something like that. Good. Dude, dude, we gotta get this thing up to the boat. This <laughs> is a massive. big game. I kind of just brought him up at first, but now he's decided I don't want to come in. <laughs> he's going back down there. <laughs> Oh, I don't care what it is. The tug is the drug, man. When you're fall fishing, throwing a spoon or like a tail spinner or something small, looks like a shad, get around those shad balls. You don't know what you're going to catch. It could be uh, anything from a, a bluegill, a catfish, large mouth. If this one is hooked in the mouth, this will probably be a first for me, but he's fighting like it's in the mouth. Oh, dude. This is crazy. I think I've got 20 pound on here so I can kind of put some heat on him. Look at that reaction rod, just bent over. <laughs> oh man. Oh gosh. I thought it was gonna be kind of quick. Now, now not so much. Mm. Let's see if I can see you again, buddy. Come on. Oh, how are we gonna land this dude? Oh, here he is, I see him, I see him. Dude, it's massive. He's just waking up. Massive. I'm putting the heat on him too. Oh God, you saw the boat, you saw the boat, said nope, 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 nope. <laughs> oh geez. Come on baby, get up in here. I wanna, sh I wanna show John, I wanna show the other guys because this is insane. Say, dude, we caught a 15 pounder. <laughs> Wouldn't be a lie. Oh, boy. oh. My, my wrist is, getting worked here. I'm gonna have to go saltwater mode. Get the fighting belt out. This is probably gonna be on the upper side of like one of the biggest ones over here. Oh, I got him, I got him in the nose. I got him in the nose, dude. How can I land this thing? This is massive. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I snagged him. Ugh. Thumb in the mouth. Oh, that, that's not doing much. I gotta get it. Oh no! I gotta get under his gill plate. This might be a PB for me. Oh, I kinda got it. He's slippery. He's real slippery. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. That's looking good. It's looking really good. Open up your gill plate. Oh, he's slipping. Oh, he's slipping. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 God, he's heavy, dude. Uh, geez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh! He's taking off. <laughs> I almost had him. Dude, it was like deadlifting a 20 pound dumbbell, even more. That thing's way heavier than what I was thinking. I gotta get him in now. Oh, he's waking up again. No, come here. Oh. All right, come here. 
Come here. Oh. I feel like I need a gaff or something. Okay, I got him pinned. Oh my gosh. Dude, this thing is huge. Hand me those pliers right there. Holy cow, dude. Look at this thing. You might break a leg. Let's get this rod out of here. Oh, I got blood all over my pants. A big ghostly one. Look at this thing. Holy cow. I'm not even gonna weigh it, but I can tell you that thing is over 20 pounds. Holy cow. Give me, give me a sniff. <sighs> Thanks for the fight, buddy. We'll send him back. <sighs> wow. <laughs> hey, you never know what you're gonna catch when you come to the lake. That was fun. Oh, he gave me a souvenir. I got a scale as a souvenir. Oh, wow. Make a necklace out of that. <laughs> Dude, that was insane. I could have swore I was like catfish. Oh, look at that, look at that. I'm about to catch one. On the back side? Yeah. Jerry, on. That a boy. Called my shot. Yeah, <laughs> you did, baby. <laughs> Called my shot. I saw him. He there said, I'm a drop off right yep, there. Yep, you're right. I saw, I saw a school bait and then there's a couple bass in there too there's a fall schooler there we go come here there we go g-man coming in with the first bass bite of the day called a shot love to Not see bad. it little backside of a boulder eating shad Do it again. There. These fish are moving quick, but where we're sitting is just in the middle of a creek. That's pretty typical fall behavior. They're not quite coming up the top and busting, but they are chasing in and around here. It's just hard to hard to track them down. They're moving fast. Second largemouth of the day. Me and Jerry just saw a, uh, a school of bass coming through the middle of this creek here. I fired out with that jerk bait there, a little bit deeper diving jerk bait, and they came right to it and said, I got to have me some of that. All right, we'll let this guy go. It's not a bad little schooler fish right there. They were just falling a big ball of shad, middle of the creek. Got trebles for days here. There we go. Fish number two. For <sighs> plunk. What bam? Oh, good. Woo, man, I wanted to feel that on a crankbait. Please have some green in it. Yes. You want? Ooh, Jerry. Jerry on the swimmer. Atta boy. Atta boy. Heck yeah, dude. Nice one. Heck yeah. Sir, look at that! Look at a that. little sundown special. Seven inch, dangerous. Seven inch, didn't play Ooh. around. Biggest fish of the day. Oh man, dude, that's awesome. He just Pretty got well. a bump right before that too. Yeah, didn't fully grab it. Yep, that one. There was no doubt. Ate it right up. Heck yeah, Ooh. that's a beaut.
Yes, Let's go. sir. Sun going down, shad or like right at the surface, prime time. That was a good one. I'd take a sack full of those any day. And you guys can see they are just, they're running them. There's shad, there's bluegill all up in this grass. The wind has been blowing on it all day. I got one. I'm on. Oh. On the square beak. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. They are running those shad. They're they're like perfectly positioned. Right on top of the grass. A little banger fish, just your old traditional boomer bait. All right guys, coming back to the cabin. This week we got a cabin for the crew. And you go, you've seen some fishing today, but it's a little behind the scenes action here. Yeah, it went. Got Mr. Real John weird. B. Yeah. Looking, look at these Tommies. Dusting up the Tommies. Dusting up Tommies. My gosh. You got this this young face right here, Grant, back from the Amazonian. I have to fish for largemouth now. Caught a giant 22 inch peacock. 22 pounds. Yeah. Was it? Uh, did I say 22 inches? You it's, said 22 inches. I apologize. Inches. That would be a, a That would be a dink. <laughs> Listen, let's just get that clear. 22, 22 pounds. pounds. 85 centimeters, whatever that would equate to. Yeah, when you sent me the pick and I was like, hey, I don't, I don't really yeah. understand. Yeah, that, they, go, they go by centimeters over there. And it kilos. A it was a giant. Kilo. It was. Some new faces for me. We got Grady over here. The, uh, Grady Cod. What up? That, that guy's a fishing freak. General consensus on the bite today. Pretty mundane. Mundane. But we did get some. We did get some fish there. We did get some fish there at the end. So beggars can't be choosers. There's some big ones <laughs> where we're, where we're going to be fishing tomorrow. So give give me give the folks a tip. Give the folks at home a fall fishing tip. The water is 68 degrees. What's, what's your area? What's your lure choice? I on, mean, on a lake. Lure choice. What are you you guys do? who know me know I'm throwing big swim baits. I, I feel like the biggest bass in the lake could be in very, very shallow water. Here's honestly a very important tip. Bass this time of year will be extremely, extremely shallow, one foot to two foot, but one of the biggest things I've found about that, catching them extremely shallow, is they're always gonna be close to some deep water. So ride on like a little, you know, upward slope, ride on the edge of a slope, fish shallow, but close to deep water so that big fish can eat and then shoot right back out mm. where he feels comfortable, mm -hmm. can just escape. So big baits, shallow water. I mean, like that's what it. we're here for. Well, y'all, Belly's got full last night, told fishing stories around the campfire, and we are gonna go give her another dangle. Uh, this vlog's gonna end here, but you guys stay tuned for the next one. We're, we're going out for a full day. We're trying to go after a big bass. Yesterday, just getting our feet wet. I'm also gonna do some scanning for some crappie or maybe some uh, stripers. Grant caught a big hybrid yesterday. There's just a lot of things running around this lake everything trying to get after a shad and there's some things that i think are going to work out today but i'll save them for next video thank you guys for hanging on the road with me don't forget to check out my friends i'm fishing with channels linked down below and i will see you guys on the next one